VFW. Saw VFW in 2019 at Fantastic Fest and really liked the film. And I kept thinking about how, even though it's not a zombie movie, it seems to borrow a lot from that specific subgenre of horror. You've got a group of survivors. Um, you, they're surrounded by a horde and it keeps growing and it builds towards an intense climax. And I thought, this can't be an accident. It can't be an accident that it unfolds just like a Romero era zombie film. So I'm getting a chance to interview the director. And I decide that I want to really impress him and show him how much I understand the film. So I decide that I'm going to ask him, what was it like to make a zombie movie? Kind of like with a wink in my voice. And he'd be like, oh, Josh, you're a very smart horror journalist because you realize that even though it's not a zombie movie, this was our interpretation of the zombie genre, or this was our statement about the zombie genre, or this is intended as a new spinoff of the zombie subgenre, something like that, right? So I'm really excited. I go in to meet Joe Bago. First of all, he's like this. It's kind of like an intimidating looking guy. He's not a pussycat like me. So that's all right, whatever. I'm really confident. I'm a great interviewer. So I sit down and I go, Joe, so tell me, what was it like making a zombie movie? And he goes, it's not a zombie movie. And I'm like, uh, uh, but Joe, uh, the tropes and, and, and the influence and, and the statement, but it was too late. You know, you only get one chance to make a first impression. And he's probably sitting there going, this fucking poser asshole didn't even realize that the punks in my movie weren't undead corpses. And it's just like, oh, God, like it, it never recovered, didn't get anything good from the interview, probably still hates me. And that's probably the real reason he didn't cast me to play Robbie in Christmas, Bloody Christmas. But that's another story. 